Singapore will serve as the nerve center of a country's Navy training mechanism with the seven major schools under the command when the command is fully completed. These are the School of Maritime Operations, Supply Application School, Marine Engineering and Electrical Application School. Also, the Basic Leadership Training School, the Recruit Training School, Special Forces Training School, and the Diving School, all to provide numerous touch points to instill the core values of the Navy. The schools would also impact the knowledge and skills required of naval personnel to enable them attain appropriate professional standards and maintain operational readiness in accordance with the Navy's operational procedures. Completed facilities that are ready for use under phase one of this project include the command headquarters, the School of Maritime Operations, the recruits training school, the instructors and students accommodation blocks, library, medical center, and mini mosque. The Ministry of Defense is also in the process of securing a 250-acre land on the outskirts of the command to construct an outdoor shooting range to support training. The Chief Naval Officer, Rear Admiral Seth Amwama, expressed appreciation to government and the people of our government traditional area for the full support of the project. According to President Ekufuado, the various schools operating under the command will be equipped to leverage technology and use new training methodologies to enhance learning and achieve greater efficiencies in line with government's agenda of technology and digitization. Piracy and armed robbery in the Gulf of Guinea continue to present significant threats to national and regional maritime activities. In addition to these threats, other incidents, such as illegal oil bunkering, kidnapping at sea for ransom, illegal fishing, terrorism, and drug trafficking are common threats occurring across international and territorial water. These transnational crimes do not only threaten the peace of our nation and region, but they, they also come at a great cost to our economy, and to those of our neighbors. We therefore need every naval officer and sailor to be equipped with creative solutions to deal with present and future maritime security challenges and stay ahead of the criminal actors at sea.